Yes, yes, yes. Like and subscribe. You're just going to interrupt my introduction just like that? Goddamn video bombing again? You better like and subscribe, man. I don't want to get hit with Lucille. Y'all see what happened to Glenn. I don't want no parts of that. Let's just jump into this gaming news. And yeah, it's your boy, Lemetheus. Let's just jump straight in this, man. Them dudes gazillion got an MMO action RPG that's on PC. And it's coming out in a mega collection. That means it's going to have extra content the PC version didn't have. That is a Marvel Heroes game, baby. Marvel Heroes. Yes, we're going to get that Marvel Alliance type feel back in our life. Coming to that Xbox one and the playstation 4 it's going to hit playstation 4 in the spring because they said the developmental team started on a ps4 version first and they want to be able to take most out of both systems so they're focusing on one system and then they're going to bring out later in the year for the xbox one that's what i'm talking about putting that work into a game don't split up your team and put out no bullshit badass game now crackdown 3 you already know your boy brought that information to you 4k 60 frames on that Xbox Scorpio. The developer behind this game said we should be getting information on this game very soon. I'm very forward to looking forward to that. Now, Dead Rising 4. DLC is out. That Frank West Zombie edition of the game is out right now. Go out there and download that game. If you got that season pass, you got it available. I don't think it's available for everybody quite yet. But go out there and check out that DLC. I'm definitely loading up my game. Now, Gears of War 4 has received their April update. You got two new maps. You got Hotel and you got Slab. Slab is the, Slab is the place where Dom was kept, the jail. Pretty much the jail where Dom was kept in the first Gears of War. And Hotel, is they both are remakes of the original games. And it's always a pleasure to have remastered maps of classic maps that people love there there is also a ton of weapon tweaks for different playlists and i'm gonna put the link down in the description so you can check that out and this is some great news man god damn mass effect andromeda patch comes out tomorrow god damn yes yes they will be they will be addressing a lot of UI and bug fixes, but mainly they are working on those sorry ass animations. Run, the house is on fire. <laughs> God damn, that game got no emotion, man. Damn. Now, I'm going to put the links down in the description so you can check out all of the patches that's coming out tomorrow. Look forward to download that and cross. PC, Xbox, and PS4. Look forward to get that. I'm not touching that game until that, that patch is out. Them guys released a great game. That sh it looks good, but them animations is goddamn hard. Now, a lot of people has been anticipating from the Banji Kazooie makers this game called Ukulele. Now, they, it was a Kickstarter, and people have privately funded this game. It is on the Switch, PlayStation, Xbox One, and PC, all platforms. But I've been looking at reviews of this game, and they're, you, they're general. The game is a decent game. It's not the Banji Kazooie that we thought that they was trying to redo, but they couldn't use the names because Microsoft owned it. But the game seems to follow that suit, but they said the worlds are big. And they don't have plenty in them. They're filled. But on top of... This is decent platforming. But on top of all of that, it has a lot of bugs and camera angle issues. You can't platform in a game if you can't get the right camera angle to complete the jump. Mario 64 didn't even have that many bad camera angles. And that was years ago. How can y'all bring this game out? Y'all was funded for I don't know how long. Five or six years. And y'all got still old school platforming camera angle issues? The game is getting like sevens and sixes across the board. And mainly because, not because the game is not good. 
it's because of the technical difficulties with the game and the platforming issues. So look, you got to go out there. And if you want to pick this up because you're a Banji Kazooie fan, then do so. I'm, I'm giving it a pass until a patch. They patch it and fix it. Your boy is online for that because them creators are really good, man. Them x rare dudes, they're good, man. Now, and they got a new NBA Jam type game called NBA Playground, which is licensed by the NBA. It's a park game, half court, full court, full, full array. But when they release the date and they give more information on the game, your boy Lemetheus is going to bring it to you. It's coming to PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox alike. So look forward to that game. Now, I got to talk about this exclusive title from PlayStation 4. That comes out every year and has the same goddamn issues. MLB The Show 17. Now, let's get into the good parts. The stadiums are incredible. The details on the characters and the animations is incredible. The speed of the game is right on par. The throwback stadiums is right on par. The Ken Griffey different generations of this guy is right on par. Even the throwback 2D, 3D type baseball mode they added to the game to give you a classic baseball feel. Right on par. But once again, Sony has failed to deliver an online experience that works. This goddamn game is broken again. That's every major league baseball, the show, series to date. The game is broken. Everybody reviewed it the same. Everybody's saying the same issues. Sony, wake your asses up, man. You're killing a franchise because it sells less and less each year. You're going to soon not have an MLB to show. Damn, get your online life together. That's where it's at. Dudes don't sit in the house in their living rooms and play with their friends. No. They go online and play the world, baby. Fix the goddamn game. Hopefully they can get a patch out this year because they put a ton of work into this game. This game is beautiful. Online is terrible, man. Damn, you and 2K with this NBA shit, too. 2K is the same way. It makes a great game, but that online shit is terrible. I was playing Pro-Am last night. Damn, it got some problems, man. Damn. Now, there's another game called Enter the Gungeon. It was on PlayStation 4. Got many awards. It's a 2D top-down shooter. Crazy effects everywhere. It's on that and PC. It has officially hit Xbox One and got some extra content to it. For those people that like it, you can check this out and go look at that. Go check that out if you like those top-down shooters because the game is it's frantic. It's, 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 an, it's an excellent addition to that Xbox Arcade. Now, this is some great news for Nintendo Switch. Lego City Undercover had on the back of the box that you had to have internet to play the game and to have it connected. The game also said you have to install... 13 gigabytes of data. False. I don't even know why they printed it back there. The, all the game is on the cartridge. The cartridge is only 7 gigs. The only thing that crossed over from the Wii U version of that game is them goddamn load times. But great news, you don't have to download no 13 gigabyte goddamn patch to finish the game or to add to the cartridge of the game. So you're good. So if you was sitting on the fences about, damn, I don't have that much space. I only bought a 32 gig extra SD. Listen, the game is all on the cartridge. You have to download, I think, a 450 megabyte update. You good. Now, y'all know what tomorrow is. Y'all know I talked about this last week. My predictions was right. Thursdays is going to be here when you wake up tomorrow in the morning. We know it's that Xbox Scorpio spec presentation. I don't know if we're going to see the system. I don't know if we're going to hear a price. I do know we're going to know what the hell is capable of doing because Digital Foundry, even though they be throwing jabs, jabs, they be throwing jabs at Microsoft all the time in the Xbox One era, always taking jabs. Microsoft must be real confident to give it to people who usually got something slight, slight to say about their system. So if they gave it to Digital Foundry, I need all y'all to pay attention to tomorrow's episode when I'll be bringing it to you 
straight from the mouths of the guys at Digital Foundry. One thing they do know how to do is goddamn tell you what a frame rate does, how, what resolution the game playing in, and if the developer is lying. Or the goddamn publisher. Those are four things that they're good at. Because there's plenty of games yelling 4K on PlayStation 4 Pro, and they run in 1600. AKA Darksiders Remastered. They said that was 4K. It's not 4K. It's 1600p. I'm not knocking because it's beautiful. But stop lying. Because you got people like Digital Foundry out there. And they're going to dissect your game. So I think Microsoft has balls to give it to a company who don't kiss their ass. To say it's doing this or it's not doing this. They've been playing it for the last two, three days. They're not just doing it tomorrow. They got their presentation tomorrow. So they've been at the Microsoft offices. They're just putting it out. 2 p.m. UK time, 6 p.m. Um, excuse me, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's New York time, baby. That's the time I'm on. And that's why I'm going to get you that information. That's all the news I got for you today. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. And like that interrupting kid in the beginning, don't make him bust in your goddamn head with Lucille. Like and subscribe. Your boy Lemetheus is out here.